Hi, welcome to the Daryl Brown Show. This is episode one, where we're going to get high and talk to some weirdos. Stay tuned. This is just a test. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to getting baked with me, Daryl Brown. We're about to get baked. Wow, we're not really baking. We're dabbing. We're going to have a fat dab. We're going to get this show started. Here comes the fat dab. Are you ready? Not ready. My guest today, Mr. <laughs> Matt Allardine, and he's not ready. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed yeah. it. Uh, it's not a cooking show, it's a baking show. <laughs> We're about to join us for our first dab of the day. This is going to be exciting. This is where you get stoned for the first time in the day. It's tricky. Let's tune in and watch. Fat dabs in three, two, one. Such shows as the late night. Oh, tonight show with Jay Leno. He's been on the gong show with David Tell, and he's a <laughs> coughing fucking mistress. I'm gonna have a fat dab now. It's not a cooking show, but we are gonna all get baked and uh, get a nice glaze on. And uh, <laughs> we were gonna get baked. Um, we gotta get baked. Oh, mama. If you hear people talking, it's just, you know, the peanut gallery. And if you got peanuts, let us know. The munchies, bro. <laughs> All right, Daryl Brown. All right, Matt, let's get to know you a little bit. Where are you from? Well, I mean, it's your show. Maybe we should get to know you. I well, mean, it's the first episode. To, we don't need to get to know me. I just want to get to know you a little bit. Who oh, the fuck are enough. you? And what the fuck oh, are you doing? Well, where I mean, are you from? What, first off, where are you from? Uh, I'm, I'm a Canadian. I'm from the middle of the country, more like Alberta. I'm living here now. Don't they call that the West Coast still, though? <coughs> well, there is a beach. The West. There is Alberta Beach, which is just a lake. Mm. Uh, but people go there. Have you They're been there? No. Well, what do you do, sir? Off. I'm a comedian. Oh, I'm an entertainer. I mean, comedy is just one aspect of the multitude of things I do. Can anybody do the splits? I can. Let's do it together. I did the math, and I'm like, I'm four times the man other people are in the entertainment industry. So, I figure I'll have four times the entertainment. <coughs> that was one hell of a first dab of the day. Alright, we're going to talk to Matt Allardy now about his greatest love affair. Snack food. When I'm buying my ice cream, and trust me, I'm buying a buck. I like the four liter. I like to get me the vanilla. A four all right? liter? Yeah, four liters every time. Four liters. Well, I just, I literally bought eight liters yesterday. But I like to get the classic vanilla. Yeah. I'm wasting all this podcast on the four minutes left. Freeze frame. I like to like put in some strawberry swirl or butterscotch swirl. Yeah. Or, you know? Yeah. Sure. Sometimes it's nice to get like a nice yeah. rainbow. Whether it be Oreo. Wait, 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 wait. You mean rainbow ice cream? Yeah. Like the pink, green, and white shit? No. Pink, green, and yellow. Yellow being the best flavor in that rainbow. No. I was once <coughs> 375 pounds and I really enjoyed ice cream all yeah, the time. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't know if we're going to get into that. So Why not get into it? I mean, I'll I used to be a fat fuck. But, you know, then I went crazy, you know, I'm underweight or something. I don't understand how life works. All this is just bag. This could happen to me. I don't know. I'm baggy. I'm a baggy person now. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Those were some amazing dabs. Now we're going to cut back to Matt Allardy talking about his greatest love affair. Snack food. Uh, 
Got any cookies? I wish. Damn. Me too. I love oh. cookies. Yeah, but you were asking me about me. I'll tell you anything you How long have you been in comedy for? Oh, over a decade. What is this, an Oreo? Beautiful. Ooh. Canadian. It's got a maple leaf on it, so you know what? It's a Canadian. Matt, before Oreo. you touch that, how do you eat your Oreo? <laughs> I'll tell you how I eat my Oreo, and I'll tell you the, the honest truth here. But I don't think that we have the equipment for me to eat it the way I want to eat it, so respectfully. Oh, do tell. You know what I mean? Because when you're over at somebody's house, like, maybe you want the mashed potato this way, maybe you want them that way, but you just, whatever. But what I like to do with my Oreos, I like to get my Oreos, right? First of all, I like to, and depending on the kind of Oreo, sometimes they're easy to pull apart, sometimes they're hard. In this case, they're a little tough to pull apart because they're delicious. Uh, they've been cooled which I love, but, um, and I thank you for cooling these Oreos, I would put them in the microwave for about three to five seconds, right? So they're nice and loose. Twist them apart, right? Then I take the cream, I put the cream somewhere else, right? Put it like in a bowl, because we're going to need that frosting later. Right? We might need that frosting later for another recipe. This recipe does not call for the frosting, all right? You can enjoy it. Anyway, you can, we'll get to the frosting. There's an option for the frosting. But, um... Then you simply take a nice mug, let's say a mug, uh, take the back of a spatula, something good. Brown these up, right? Because you want these fine brown. Because I like my Oreos with a little bit of, no, yeah, like, put it in the mug. I like my Oreos with a little bit of ice cream in there. Oh, if I only had some Oreos and ice cream right now, right? When I eat an Oreo, it's time for a blizzard. When I see a blizzard, it doesn't have to be an Oreo. But when I see an Oreo, it should be a blizzard. Or a McFlurry, whatever. Man, that made me hungry. All right, ladies, have you ever wanted to know how your gentleman shaves his testes? Stay tuned, because it's coming right up. We're coming at you sideways. This is Daryl Brown. I don't know the name of the show. Is it Dabbing with Daryl Brown? Yeah, we're working on it. We're you working on it. But we're, we're coming at you sideways, all right? <laughs> Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah, you can. Do you shave your nuts? I don't shave my nuts, but sometimes you gotta pluck them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Coming at you sideways. <laughs> this being such a new and exciting show, I figured I'd give mine a quick rip. And uh, I'm not sure how to shave your nuts. Like that's not something my dad taught me. Uh, Carefully. Oh, you should have said that anyway. No, you didn't. Wait. But I'm. But... I never learned how to shave my nuts, but. I don't remember it already. Cause of the dabs. It's cause of the dabs, man. Are you ready? Are you ready with that sound effect one more time when I point? You ever shave your ass? But I'm bum chick. Rim job. Oh! Uh, I, I I said but I'm bum oh. chick. Oh, right, a good dab. I only had one. You don't gotta get racist. <coughs> Ominous. No, but seriously, it was such an exciting day that I found myself giving my giving my giving my what's it or what's not. Oh, that sounds like a prickly mess. Oh. And, uh, and, uh, it made me question, like, how do you, how does one learn? Like, you can't even, you can't eat. I've Googled intent surgeries and done them on myself because who needs a doctor? You can't Google how to shave your nuts. It just turns either porn or non existent. I can't find it. So I just winged it. And now, there's little cuts. I wish I didn't have so many cuts on my nuts, but you know, what are you gonna do? Go to the barber shop! Nick. You know, get a hot towel. Will they do that? Pull it out straight. I'm giving myself a lot of leeway, but I got low hanging nuts. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Smooth like a baby's skull. It's really all it is. But I don't know how to do it. <coughs> well, sometimes you just gotta see if you can like pull them out like a trampoline, right? In the summertime, do your nuts touch the water in the toilet? Well, it depends on the toilet, but no. Shitty. I'm gonna try another dab. <laughs> I think I think we've been canceled. You know what I mean? I hope so. I feel like we've been canceled. I mean, we're still sideways, but not as sideways. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a real MTV kind of a feel. You know what I mean? Because like we're not like we're not like hey, and we're not like what Starship Enterprise falling off the thing, and now the director's really self-conscious because I'm really like talking about his documentary and style. But I, I'm saying, uh, no, like, uh, maybe you know, we're coming at you, like, we're coming a little sideways. Shitty. Having Matt on the show seemed to center around a few specific topics. 
So, back with the snack food. It's delicious. It's still the same. Yeah. They haven't fucked oh. with the recipe. And you, and that, and when you made the blizzard, you can <laughs> to or to not add the icing. I know the icing makes it kind of sweet, so it, you know, it depends on what you want to do. I like to save the icing later, because sometimes when you're on Oreos, a little icing with some ice cream, that's a treat all on itself. Man, <laughs> I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot here. Yeah. Well, snacks. It's not a cooking show, it's a baking show. It's flipping me off, you know what I mean? It's art. You know, what we're trying to make here is art. It's several levels, you know what I mean? We're on camera, there's an audience off camera, and what is the director? He's not part of either one of those communities. Is he God, or is he merely a caretaker? I ask you, friends, when you look into your heart, who is the director of your life? <laughs> is it capitalism? Is it Fox News? Or is it rebelling against your parents? Whoever they are, you want to be the opposite. Unless you like really wish that you could be more like your parents. And that means you're really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about your career, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Throw another just like, oh, okay, this is just a, I yep. don't know, question. There's nothing about my career. Come on, man. Let, Some about my career. Tell me how far it's in the gutter right now. I, you it's know what I mean? Good? I don't How's your poops? You know what? They're fine. You know what? Did you because have a good one today? Listen. When you deal with this kind of volume, and you really... This is it volume? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer these questions. Right? I have the opposite problem. I'm going to answer these questions, but I want to go on record, and, and we're not even on the record here, but like... There's two in records. In this MTV style. Right? There's two records. I'm just trying to say, I don't usually talk about my nutsack and my poop and the toilets. This is Daryl's, you know what I mean? That's what he wants to talk Bring about. Bring out the best. But I'm going to tell you, like, listen, when you eat... When you eat constant, yeah. and I think you know this, and yeah. I mean, because you used to be fat, when you have a constant, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? People are like, oh, I'm not regular, I'm not regular. Like, it's, it's, it's going, you know what I mean? <laughs> no matter it's what. It's just, it's in a direction, and it goes. That's a lot of shit. Now, I knew having Matt on the show was going to center around a few topics in specific, but I did not know that it was going to be mostly about food. Um, I wish I knew what the hell I was talking about because it was really good. We were talking about poop. I'm gonna, like, my attorney's gonna contact you, and I do not want to be associated in any way with this project. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> it's live, and you did drugs on camera. Next up, we're gonna find out how Matt Aladdin's feeling today on the inside. But listen, it's like, this is really weird. Yeah. It's like a really weird day right now. Well, <laughs> what did you think you're walking into a normal newscast? Like, I mean, here's the we're thing. We're talking about today's th news and sport. I mean, and here's, nope. the th here's what I find really upsetting. It's like if we had like a few hours to really turn this around, but I understand we've only been allotted a certain amount of 16 mm -hmm. millimeter film for this. And the studio is so. All right, let's go. And then it's like. Um, uh, you'll tell us uh, when it's like what, like one minute left? <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. It's your turn, right? No. That's right. <laughs> not for, not after that speech. You fucking prick. Yeah, man. I'm dabbing it out. You know what I mean? So Any future get... shows coming up? Oh, absolutely. Um. Well, we got the uh, the Daryl Brown and Matt Aladdin go around the planet and uh, try and put together what they destroyed last time. 
Oh yeah, how about that? Unbeknownst to the studio audience, and especially Matt Aladine, I'm about to cancel our tour that he's been working on for the last four months. We're set to leave in only ten days. Watch this. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta, I'm gonna have to dab you. Yeah. First. Before, I think I figured it out already. Before we talk about... Um, Hang on. Hang on, Matt. No, oh, I'm hanging on. Just bear with oh, me man. for a second. Can I have some dabbing music, please? It's dabbing time with dabbing ground. So... Probably the perfect you time. We should talk about you our tour, me. Matt. We should you talk about our tour. Because I, I I'm really. I'm, it's a perfect. A you can depend on. It's a perfect. You're thick and thin. Thick and thin. It's a perfect opportunity, Matt. I, I mean, I gotta talk to you about the tour that was, yeah. was just mentioned. Okay. okay. Um, so. <coughs> yes, my dear friend Daryl. Well. There's a tour coming up, like, pretty soon. Yeah, I'm so excited. I know you're excited. <laughs> I can feel your energy. Mm -hmm. It's very... It's very Palpable. contagious, even. Yeah. I want to join you in this enthusiasm. But... And it's a hard butt. Well, it's soft and buttless, because it's, like, concave. I don't really have one. I don't do enough squats, but... Yeah. It's really long. So... <laughs> How much time do I got? Oh, yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Where did you That's find the show? <laughs> um, so, like, like seeing that, before we seeing even... that, like this, there's a sh this, sh this, this, this show just launched, and mm -hmm. uh, tour soon, and that the tour's far away, <laughs> and and probably still snowy, so mm -hmm. I don't think I could probably drive it anyway, but. Because the show just launched, I don't know if I can leave the city uh, <laughs> for any amount of time that involves going on a comedy tour with you in like 10 days. Well, like, whatever. <laughs> like, I've probably known for two months you weren't going to come. Whoa. Come on. Whoa. I, I've got you figured out, Daryl Brown. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. He's good. But he's gonna die. From four dabs in a row. There you go. This is a good dog day. Hey Matt, how you feeling? <coughs> Fine. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of there's a bunch of there's a bunch of square people in my hometown who like can't come to grips with their life and they're so square. I gotta protect them, man. You know what I mean? You gotta protect the people in your life. You gotta go fuck us. Ah, that's how you gotta be, man. Fucking. If you look at me and, and I look at you, and then who are we? Yeah. You know what I mean? And who do you who do you want to be? Sideways. <laughs> <laughs> it's always my turn. He's gonna tell us we got like a minute left. Of Oh, oh. 
This is the final dab I will be doing this episode. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the show today. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> the joy has been all mine! <laughs> <laughs> this is Bush and Pitches episode one! Now, nah, bro! Put that bitch ass! Episode one! <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. So you can follow uh, me at the Daryl Brown on Twitter or Facebook or whatever the fuck. Check out psychonauticarts.com. Matt, what do you got to plug? I'm Matt Aladine. Um, right now it's mattaladine.com. I'm gonna like, I don't know, work on that website. Listen, uh, come check me out. I do comedy and other shows. It's a good time. Thanks for having me. This has been an experience that happened. Are you baked? Yeah, man. One, one minute. Yeah. yeah. Now we gotta. Uh, ah. <coughs> Boom. Sexual. Well, that was one hell of a show. Anyway, I gotta get the fuck out of here. My joint's done. I just gotta.